Hey everyone, how's it going? So this is going to be a partial update and also an upgrade for March 2023. First, I've definitely done a little bit of reorganization to the shed. If I back up enough, you can get more of it into the frame. Um, I actually raised this second shelf up some so I can fit my one and only X12 in there. I actually have enough space. I can run another X8 or maybe two sideways up top of the rest of the X8s if I really need to. Maybe in the future, we'll see. And then I got all my oddball stuff on top. But if I come on up here, these four rigs to the left are all mine. I got Octo 1, which is X12, and then Octo 2 and Octo 3. Those are on all doing CASPA. This is all 6600 XTs. This is one 6600 XT, six 6700 XTs, and one 6800. And this is a mix of 30 series. The fourth rig is off. I'm not really using it for anything, and it literally only has four RX 580 four gigabyte cards in there. Not profitable. I leave it in here. I can turn the power on to it whenever I want. When I want to play real quick, then turn it back off. Otherwise, that just sits off. Next to over here is Yeti's rigs. This one is running. This is his 2080 Ti rig and recently finally got him to change it off of flux, save 800 watts, and now he is also mining Caspa himself on the 2080 Ti's. Very efficient, I'm surprised. This is his old Vega rig. We may turn it on at some point, we may not, depending upon if a good memory intensive coin comes around that's worth actually turning on Vegas anymore. Then the last two are um, 56's rigs that I've been hosting for him for well over a year now. Come up top, I still got my 48 port switch, my 120 volt PDU. I got two mini doges for Mrs. Yeti. Then I got my three mini doges. My L3 is down in the basement because I'm busy playing with it right now. And then I got the oddball, which I absolutely love this thing still, is the Bikel BK G28 mining Grostal coin. Always makes me at least $30 a month after power at 12 cents a kilowatt hour. It's always profitable. So I just let it run. That's only 336 watts for that whole thing. Finally, I got my three CPU tower here, uh, all 3900Xs mining Varus coin. And of course I got my PDU for my side, and then the hosted side over here, their own PDU, so this way I can monitor power usage between myself and 56 and Yeti and proportion it accordingly. So what we're gonna to do today is upgrade some of the CPUs in these Octo miners, because I got a really good deal on them. The X12 I don't have to worry about because this has a newer series CPU in it that does support AES encryption. The older ones, the X8s, usually has CPUs that are Celerons, but they're so old, they're from the fourth gen Intel, that they don't support AES instructions. And that's important because you kind of need that to help with Dynex mining. And at the same time, I literally picked up these CPUs for $6 each. So we're gonna be upgrading from the Celerons to an i3-4130 CPU. I got six of them right here that came in the other day for $6 each. So I'm gonna show you how to do a quick upgrade and change out the CPU on Octominer X8. Okay, so we're gonna start with my Octo 4 rig. It's the lightest one, since it only has those four little cards in there. Let's take the top off, just two screws in the back. And I got my little helper today too, if you can see him. Watch out, let me put this over here. Thank you. Okay, so to work on this easier, let's stand it up. So since this is the actual motherboard, this card looking thing in an Octominer X8, we're gonna remove this top GPU right above it so we can gain easy access to the CPU and change it on out. So now we can see the little pancake fan that comes with these little latches. Just twist them and pull up and it will release them. And 
and also disconnect the four pin fan connector. I'm gonna have to pull up a little bit on these just to help them release the rest of the way. And there we go. Let's uh, clean up all the um, old goo. Okay, so now we have the CPU cleaned off. Let's just bring this lever on over here, flip it on over, and it will flip the cover over. Gently and very carefully, pick it straight up so you don't bend any of the pins below. And we can see we have an Intel Celeron G1840. Standard fare for Octominer X8s. And here is a Core i3-4130 CPU that we're gonna switch it around. Now, we gotta be mindful of our nice little triangle right here, and we can find our little notch, notch? and triangle right over here, yes. And very gingerly without bending any pins, so just fall right in there. Bring this on over, pull the lever back up so it goes underneath this little pin, push forward, lock it into place. Let me get some new thermal paste. Just a nice little X. No one troll me in the comments, I don't wanna hear how you lay your thermal paste, everyone has their own way. And then we'll just lower this back down onto the CPU. Try to get all the holes start to be lined up see you might have to pull up a little bit just so it actually latches down then you can push down and twist back forward that locks in that one I gotta do it for the other three lock in it yep you gotta lock it in yeah. so there we go we got our upgrade CPU underneath don't forget to reconnect your four pin fan header now I can put my GPU back in. Also make sure to uh, reconnect your power to your GPU, just in case. Just gotta make sure you grab the right one. Right one? Yep. Yeah. And go ahead and close it on up, power back on, and you have an upgraded CPU now for your Octominer X8 that costs you, well for me, $6 each. You can find them from six to $10 on eBay. Um, that has a AES encryption built into the CPU. So that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Let me know if this was helpful at all, and I will catch you on the next video.